Howdy everyone, Mr. Kaji here with another problem of the week. Get out your periodic table, get out your polyatomic ions and prefixes sheet. And if you don't have that free download, go to the URL at the bottom of this page and go get your free download and have this wonderful tool for your use. All right, let's get started. How does this reaction occur? Copper and uh, silver nitrate giving us copper 2 nitrate and silver. Well, silver nitrate and copper nitrate are both ionic and so it's the charges. We need to write the ions and so let's do that. To the magic blackboard, write out our equation and then look and note that copper and silver are both pure elements and so they have no charges and then the silver nitrate and the copper nitrate are both ionic. So let's break them into their ions. We have a silver ion and we have a nitrate ion. And notice that there's a plus one and a negative one. They balance. And then we need to look over at our copper nitrate and write out our ions. And some would ask how I knew that it was copper two and not copper one. Because remember, copper has two charges. It can be copper one or it can be copper two. It can have a plus one or a plus two charge. And I know because when I look over at the nitrate, there's two nitrates and a negative one. And two times negative one is negative two. Well, in order to make negative two balance, I have to have a plus two. And that's how it works. And the whole idea behind being able to tell how this reaction is going to occur is looking at the charges. Now this was just a single replacement, but even in a double displacement, we break them all apart, look at the charges and match them up. All right. As usual, if you have any questions, shoot off an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com and check out my YouTube and my PowerPoints. Happy Islands, everyone.